It's a hell of a hole I've never seen. Couldn't do this without you. I got your back, man. Is this Shen Lo? Sylvester Stallone's final flick in the action-packed Escape Plan trilogy just hit the jackpot on Netflix. Yep, Escape Plan The Extractors is now chilling at the cool kids table on Netflix's top 10 movies list in the US. People seem to be totally vibing with it, showing some serious love for the series. So if you're into Stallone's nail-biting breakout adventures as Ray Breslin, this one's a must-watch. Even though the critics might not give it the gold star, the fact that it's rocking the top 10 suggests it's a hit with the audience. Now this opens up the question of another Escape Plan movie. Hey, could we be in for an Escape Plan 4? The buzz around Escape Plan The Extractors hitting it big on streaming platforms has got fans wondering about the franchise's future. You know, the first one had Stallone and Schwarzenegger doing their thing, but the sequels took a different route, with Dave Bautista joining the action. What's cool is that Stallone's been the anchor throughout, showing he's the real deal when it comes to keeping us hooked. Back in 2013, Escape Plan made history by being the first ever film to feature Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger sharing the spotlight as co-leads. Sure, they'd crossed paths in the Expendables series, but Arnie had more of a cameo deal in those flicks. Now, these guys were the kings of 80s action, and having them team up on screen, dishing out the beatdowns equally, was like action movie nirvana. And guess what? The magic worked! Hey, fruitcake! Let's go. Escape Plan pulled in a whopping $137 million worldwide, and China played a major role in that success story. So not only did we get to see Stallone and Schwarzenegger in a buddy-buddy action duo, but the movie also raked in the big bucks. Undoubtedly, the charisma of the leading actors played a significant role in attracting audiences to this narrative revolving around Ray Breslin, who falls victim to betrayal by his partner, leading to his incarceration in a high-security prison. Inside the prison walls, he forms an alliance with Emil Rottmeier, and together they devise a strategy to secure their freedom. The movie caters to those who appreciate films like The Shawshank Redemption, where characters strive to break free from challenging situations. The film's box office success paved the way for two sequels, Escape Plan 2, Hades, and Escape Plan The Extractors. While Schwarzenegger opted out of the subsequent installments, Stallone continued the momentum alongside new co-star Dave Bautista as Trent DeRosa. Although the sequels took a direct-to-video route in the United States, they maintain a dedicated fan base. Given its modest budget, speculation arises about the potential development of Escape Plan 4. However, there is currently no official confirmation regarding additional films in the series. Yet, this lack of confirmation does not necessarily signal the demise of the franchise. According to Sylvester Stallone, the production of Escape Plan The Extractors was completed in a remarkably swift 17 days, suggesting that a potential sequel might not require extensive preparation. The franchise's resilience appears to be fueled, in part, by Stallone's evident enthusiasm for it. Upon the release of the third film, he expressed on Instagram, What I think is amazing and what people should know is this film was made in 17 days with a budget that was less than what the great Floyd Mayweather pays for one of his Bugatti cars. Despite the absence of official confirmation regarding Escape Plan 4, the efficiency demonstrated in producing one of these movies in just over two weeks likely makes it a more appealing prospect. Stallone's busy schedule, including upcoming projects like The Expendables 4 and Little America, leaves room for the possibility of a straightforward plot and another straight-to-video release for Escape Plan 4. Stallone has successfully kept his iconic franchises alive well into the 21st century, with Rambo Last Blood hitting theaters in 2019. Fans shouldn't discount the potential return to the Rocky universe either, while he indicated on Instagram that he doesn't plan to return for Creed 3, there seems to be lingering passion for the character of Rocky Balboa, leaving the door open for a future film where he reassumes the lead role. Escape Plan The Extractors concludes with the potential for a sequel, and as Stallone has demonstrated with his other successful franchises, there are numerous directions a movie can take to maintain relevance. This holds true even after the events that transpired at the end of Escape Plan The Extractors. 
In the aftermath, Ray Breslin is left emotionally shattered. Lester has brutally murdered his girlfriend Abigail, propelling Ray into a relentless quest for vengeance. While he ultimately emerges victorious, the victory comes at a significant personal cost. In a poignant moment, he informs his partner Trent about his decision to retire from the perilous lifestyle he has been leading. This conclusion sets the stage for potential developments and leaves the door open for a sequel to explore the aftermath of Ray's decisions and the repercussions of his retirement from the high-stakes world he once navigated. Certainly, retirement doesn't necessarily mark the end for an action hero like Ray Breslin. There's a plausible scenario where someone approaches him with the classic one last mission proposition, drawing him back into the murky world where individuals find themselves wrongly imprisoned. Whether motivated by the right price or a compelling incentive, Ray might be tempted to take on the challenge. The potential for a new installment is rich with possibilities, introducing a fresh array of villains and, who knows, possibly convincing Sylvester Stallone's longtime collaborator Arnold Schwarzenegger to join him for another exhilarating adventure. On the other hand, a future escape plan movie could take a different route, serving as a prequel to delve into the origins of Ray Breslin's involvement in this high-stakes profession. Stallone could make appearances in a present-day cameo role, providing context before transitioning to a younger actor portraying the character in earlier years. With the narrative possibilities wide open, the potential for the Escape Plan franchise remains intriguing, and fans are encouraged to stay tuned for updates on this project, should it materialize. Sylvester Stallone has been the face of various movie franchises, such as Rocky and Rambo. However, when it comes to action films, Escape Plan stands out as his least successful series. After the triumph of Rocky, Stallone faces challenges in replicating that success. During an era when sequels were not widely favored, he received advice against making Rocky II, and even the original director, John G. Alvidson, refused to return. Undeterred, Stallone took charge, and the sequel turned out to be another unexpected hit. Rocky Balboa has since become Stallone's most enduring character, with numerous reprisals, the latest being in 2018's Creed II. Unlike many Hollywood actors, Stallone embraced sequels as a means to further explore characters and capitalize on their commercial appeal. The tonal shift between First Blood and Rambo First Blood Part II exemplifies this, with one being a grounded survival thriller and the other a bombastic war movie. This strategic genre switch transformed Rambo into a cultural icon, prompting Stallone to revisit the character three more times. In 2010, he initiated the Expendable series, reuniting with action icons like Jet Li, Dolph Lundgren, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. The fourth installment is slated for release in 2022. Even though Sylvester Stallone has had many successful movie series, there were some not-so-great moments, like the not-so-popular Judge Dredd in 1995. Despite teaming up with Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Expendables, their collaborations didn't impress much, feeling more like short appearances by Schwarzenegger. Their first big partnership was an escape plan in 2013, where Stallone plays a security expert stuck in a supposedly escape-proof prison, with Schwarzenegger helping him break out. Although it did well internationally, the Escape Plan series is considered Stallone's weakest in action movies. The sequels, with Dave Bautista joining in, didn't add much. Escape Plan 2 Hades had Stallone navigating a prison where inmates had to fight, but it felt cheap and got criticized by Stallone himself. Escape Plan 3 was a bit better, but still forgettable. Even though Stallone tried to redeem it after the second movie, the trilogy is seen as his worst, with a boring main character, forgettable scenes, and no freshness. Unlike the successful Rocky and Rambo movies, where Stallone had creative control, he had none in the Escape Plan series. With no sign of creative improvement and the unlikelihood of Escape Plan 4, maybe it's best to leave it at that. Well, that's it for today. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comments section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you at the next one.